Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of The Puck Zone Show. All right, so here we go again. Four games, and it's been maybe some teachable moments for the Vancouver Canucks. Uh, it's been so heartbreaking. Being up 3 nothing the first game, and then the other three games being up, uh, you know, two goals. I feel sorry for the guys, actually. They should have won one or two of those games, but it is what it is. We're where we are. So we get another crack at it at another team tonight who's also 0-3 and three for the year. It's like we're being set up. I swear to God. They're setting us up <laughs> for an awesome ending to the season. That's how I'm looking at it. We're going to start off rough, bumpy road. Boys going to get their legs underneath them, and then off we're going to go running. So... I think it's going to start tonight because we always seem to have good games against Minnesota. Um, but with that being said, you know, these are all NHL caliber teams. So um, anybody can win on any given night. So we're going to see how the Canucks fare tonight. But I'm predicting for a win finally to end the road trip where we're, well, they're tired for sure, right? Because they just finished a five game. And I think this is the last game on the road trip, but... <clears throat> I didn't check. I'm sure it's five. But if there's another one, okay, you know, because I'm looking at the points. Out of the last eight games, we've garnered one point. If we play tonight, not so bad and, and win, then we'll get three points out of, you know, a possible ten. But if we lose <clears throat> one out of ten, that's a pretty big hole to start the season. But a few of the other good teams as well have also started in a bit of a slump, so... But it's it's still a pretty big hole. That's why I'm thinking, you know, for them to at least maintain a decent level where they're close to 500, uh, that'd be nice. But 1 in 10 would be far from 500. And we all know what it's like to get to 500 and then go over 500. So, yeah, this day in NHL, it's a tough league. It's not easy. So, uh, yeah. We'll see what happens tonight against the Wild. But, you know, look at my other uh, team, the Edmonton Oilers. They have actually only won one game out of their three games that they have played. And that one game is the game they won against Vancouver. And let's not forget, Vancouver is actually leading that game 3 nothing. So if they'd actually won that game and held on to that lead, you could be looking at Edmonton, who is, you know, one of the considerers a Stanley Cup contender. They would have been 0-3. Calgary, on the other hand, down the road, uh, they're 3-0. And, and they've played some good teams. I believe they played Vegas, um, the Oilers, and um, I forget who the other team they play, but they're playing the Sabres tonight. But um, they're 3-0, and, and you know, I, I like the way they're looking at their season as well. They're looking at each game as it comes, and no further than that, which most teams should be doing, but Daryl Sutter really has these guys um, dialed in. And what's interesting for Calgary is, you know, Huberdeau and Caudry, um, those guys have proven to, to be, you know, great additions to that team because they're, like, transitioning very well um, with that group. So, but, yeah, we'll watch out for... Uh, for Edmonton and see what happens because I do think they're playing tonight as well. They actually playing the, they are they playing the Hurricanes tonight, and the Hurricanes have started out to a three and zero lead as well for the beginning of this season. So um, they're not a bad team, and the, you know they've always been sort of a good team. Those guys in Raleigh, um, <clears throat> I think they won the cup <clears throat> not too long ago, anyways. But um, and then for tonight, the the Canucks in Minnesota. Um, we'll see what happens there, but um, they got their hands full because I'm pretty sure Minnesota is going to play a hard, hard game because, hey, they know they don't want to be down 0-4, and we know we don't want to be down, you know, it'd be 0-4-1. So, <laughs> yeah. Anyhow, um I'm going to go on a limb and say we are going to win the game tonight. That's going to be my prediction. And I'm going to say 
The goalie, uh, Thatcher Damko, if he's in net, he's got to steal a game for us tonight. And it could be a 4-1 game. But that's just what I'm feeling. But every time I'm feeling this, they seem to actually achieve it. And then they shit the bed. So no, bed, no shit in the bed tonight, boys. Let's get a win. Let's get a win and turn the season back around. You know, I want to hear that chant. Well, I guess we're not going to hear it till we... We get home, you know. Bruce, there it is. <laughs> I mean, that's a pretty good one we got going on for a sports team right now. You know, so, yeah. Bruce brought in some excitement to the team last year. Um, just like Woodcroft has brought in some excitement to, to Edmonton. And, you know, living here in Edmonton, oh, my goodness. So, last year, let's speak about the Oilers for a sec. So, last year, the Oilers went deep into the Stanley Cup Finals, right? So, they played for the Western Western finals they played um, Colorado and Colorado went on to win the cup but the energy here in Edmonton was just electric there's people on the corners with DJ booths set up and barbecues and <laughs> I was like these people are getting right into this so it was nice to see that Edmonton uh, just loves when their team is in the playoffs because yeah it becomes really a, a huge community event which is kind of nice um, honking on White Ave and 104 Ave downtown there. So, hey, um, kudos to, to Edmonton to for showing up for your, your club and uh, appreciating the hard work that they put in last year because we don't get that same kind of energy in Vancouver. I find Vancouver is sort of a corporate city. You do get your fans there, but you need diehard fans, don't get me wrong. But um, sometimes it feels like, um, you know, with some of the fans in the stands that it's it's just they're, they're just company tickets and stuff i don't know but that's my experience sometimes when i've been to the arena but here i was at the arena for four games last year you know when i had um a job because i'm not working right now due to being my disability so i'm i'm, I'm off work but um yeah i i saw four games last year and every time i went to that arena in edmonton it was just stomping and rocking i mean unbelievable the noise and the level of the noise you know um so yeah edmonton really gets and the amount of people wearing jerseys i mean it's like almost everybody's wearing a jersey it's unbelievable you know so yeah kudos to edmonton for you know representing but um yeah so look forward for i look forward to tonight's game and i'll try to come back on with another video um but yeah Let's see how, yeah, let's see how Edmonton, Calgary, and Vancouver, and I think Edmonton and Ottawa are also, uh, sorry, um, Winnipeg and Ottawa and Montreal are also playing tonight. I think Toronto has a night off, but let's see how the Canadian teams do tonight uh, in the NHL, because there's actually quite a few games um, on the schedule tonight. All right, take care. Oh, you know, before you guys go, I guess, I sh you know, this is, I wouldn't say it's new for me, but it's a continuing of a... Uh, uh, passion. So obviously I want to grow uh, the channel. So if you like what you've heard and you know you want to hear some more or even you know um, you know drop some comments that'd be more than appreciated but um, a follow would be even more appreciated. So if you like what you heard and you want to hear more and uh, um, hit that like and subscribe button that'd be much appreciated. All right folks enjoy the games tonight and we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.